Peace talks in what seems to be like years now. I kind of had a falling out with them. They're not a bad glorified pickup skate. I just had a little bit of a falling out, and that's a long story in itself, but I want to talk about something that just recently happened to me, which is absolutely hysterical. So, what I do when it comes to hockey equipment, mainly goalie equipment, I sell, I trade, best offers, I bid, whatever, on eBay. Honestly, 98% of my equipment, minus maybe one set, a few sticks, my old school gear from when I was a kid, that's like the only thing that was really new. Everything else is used. I wish I was a rich kid. I wish I was some rich Canadian kid, with free health care up north, with rich parents. Like, oh, I, I wish, I wish, but I'm not. And I'm actually proud of myself because I don't go around buying $1,000 worth of gear and spending my whole paycheck towards that. I more or less, if anybody watches the show Pawn Stars, you'd understand. The Rick Harrison of Goalie Equipment. If you want to call the Bear League Hero that. I, I want to go full credit. I don't make any money. Anything I sell on eBay. Anything I deal with on eBay. Facebook. You know. Any of the social media sites. I don't make a profit off it. I sell it. Buy more equipment. So. I have um, two jerseys for sale on eBay. And um, my... Uh, Tag or whatever, Bear League Hero or Hero Goalie on uh, eBay. So I have a few things, mainly just the goalie equipment, you know, skates, jerseys, whatnot. So I decided to sell two of my Stinky Socks jerseys, <laughs> goalie cut jerseys, and I have them for sale on eBay. So the other day, <laughs> this is just, this was out of random. I don't know why that, uh, I'm still kind of, Speechless about this. It's just absolutely. It. So this guy pops up in, on October 30th in my message box. So this was what? Friday? If Halloween was Saturday. So 31st. So this guy. His name is Con H-S-Y-G-C-I. Apparently he's from Quincy. I don't know who he is. I don't know if I'm a hole in the wall. He writes to me. Now. eBay looks at you by how much sales you have. He's got like two. So he sold like. Nothing. So he's kind of a newbie. Newbie to the eBay world, which is fine. I don't care. So he writes to me, Are you completely out of your mind? Stinky Socks was the worst league in Massachusetts. You're not going you're not gonna you're not going to get fifty bucks for both these, never mind two hundred. I nearly shit myself laughing from seeing that post. I was dying. I was like, What the fuck, dude? Really? I was dying and I'm just like, dude. I'm just selling this, you know, you can put $1,000 on it. Is someone going to pay for it? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. No. It's whatever you ask. People might pay. So the person is from Quincy. They've been around since December 7th, 2014. So not very long. Well, I think. Yeah. Six years on eBay and you got... Little seals, nothing. No, I wrote him a message back, and I won't go too much into it, but he never wrote back to me, so I was a little disappointed. I'm like, oh, shit. I wanted to say something back to me. But, oh, it's just too funny. I nearly died when I saw that. I was dying laughing. No, I don't think Siggy Sox is the worst league in Massachusetts. Um, Do they have their problems? Yeah, but they're still in business. Hockey New England. New England Senior Hockey League, Mass Hockey, all closed. Stinky Socks is more or less a glorified pickup. And I have two good jerseys. And if you see the ad, you'd be like, oh, those are pretty nice jerseys. As you can tell, they're the uh, Red Sox logo, which I believe they almost got sued over. Um, yeah, Stinky Socks, Stinky Socks. I'm all about Stinky Socks. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate the league. It's just I just kind of had a falling out with them. But like I said, that's another story for another time. But just some dude on eBay, local dude at best, just had nothing better to do with himself during a pandemic. But let's just 
message you. You're not going to get that much. I know I'm not going to get that much. I mean, that's why I listed for that. I'm not going to give it away. You stupid? Come on. Really? Seriously, come on. Oh, Harpoon IPA. Stay local. <laughs> but seriously. Yeah, I, I never been to offend anybody or anything. I, I sell it more or less because I don't want to. I, I, I don't want. I, I know somebody won't going to pay $200 for two jerseys. Which is funny because that's a story in itself too. So when I wanted those jerseys. <sighs> Stinky Socks was out of Dorchester, Massachusetts. And they're basically like, okay, you want jerseys and you want your number and all that bullshit, come down and see us. So I had to go all the way down to Dorchester, find parking. And it was funny. I didn't have the cash or I didn't want to spend credit on it. So I actually made an eBay sale and I had the funds in my PayPal account. <laughs> so I actually went up there and I was like, uh, do you guys take PayPal? And they were like, Looking at me funny, like, what What the fuck? You showing up here? And you want two jerseys? You're joining the league? Ugh. And I was just like, uh, is that a yes or a no? But they ultimately said, yeah, and, you know, make it up to the owner. Boom, 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 done. And I got my two jerseys. Now, they tried giving me numbers, which was pretty funny. This is the Stinky Sock staff. I think it was like 84. Oh, they were ridiculous numbers. Uh, it was like, I don't even remember. It wasn't goalie numbers. 30, 31, 33, 35, 1. Like, none of those numbers existed. So I was like, okay. I'm like, well, what do you got for goalie numbers? And I think his name was Sean or Scott. I forget his name. Nice guy. He pulls out these two jerseys, and it was the white and the uh, the navy. And he was like, oh, 40. I was like, oh, two Karasis number. I'll take that. He's like, here you go, kid. I'm like, oh, sweet. So, I do have the jersey still for sale. Um, it is what it is. I'll probably go back to Stinky Socks sooner than later. We got to see how this pandemic shapes up. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, I just love a good laugh. I love a good hockey laugh. I thought that was funny. So, I don't know who this guy is from Quincy. Obviously, he's a Stinky Socks hater, but you know what? Bravo! Thanks for the laugh, buddy. As always, cheers.